is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube that is me on this screen and in this video i have always done this comparison because it is the classic comparison between the new 2022 honda civic versus the 2022 toyota corolla and this is one everybody always wants to see of course i've reviewed both of these cars i reviewed the new 2022 civic the 2021 corolla is the one i reviewed of course nothing's really changing for the 2020 to Corolla the specs are already on Toyota's website so I am going to do a comparison today a lot of similarities between these two vehicles which is why they are so often compared but there are many very big differences between these two as well and so in this video I will be highlighting the 10 key differences between the 2022 Civic and the 2022 Corolla hopefully it helps you guys make a decision in the end I will be starting at number 10 working my way to number one there will be a clear winner in the end however that might not be your clear winner dependent upon what you're looking for in one of these compact cars so Having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started with number 10 on the list. So number 10 comparison is going to be with the pricing. 2022 Civic is going to start at $21,700. However, 2022 Corolla is going to start at $20,025. Therefore, when it comes to the price comparison, the Corolla actually takes the win here, putting us at a score of one to nothing, Corolla in the lead. Then making our way to number nine being the power plants on these two. And so I'm going to use the most powerful power plants between these two, just because if you're looking for more power, that obviously is going to be the one that you're looking for. And so for the 2022 Civic, the more powerful engine is going to be a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. This one puts out 180 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 177 pound feet of torque coming in at 1700 RPM, zero to 60 time for the Civic comes in at 7.4 seconds for the 2022 model year then. So when you compare that then to the 2022 Corolla, more powerful engine is going to be a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, 169 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 151 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,400 RPM, zero to 60 time for that one, 8.2 seconds. Therefore, Civic takes the win as far as acceleration goes, as far as power plant goes, putting us at a tie one to one. Then making our way to number eight on our comparison being fuel economy, comparing apples to apples with this one. And so 2022 Civic is going to be 31 in the city, 40 on the highway for the base engine. Then for that more powerful engine, I just told you guys about 31 in the city, 38 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel for both configurations. Then when you compare that to the 2022 Corolla, 30 in the city, 38 on the highway for the base engine, being the 1.8 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder. Then 31 in the city, 38 on the highway for that more powerful engine. So since the more powerful engine is actually going to be a tie, it's the same for both of these vehicles. When it comes to that base engine configuration, the Civic does take the win by two miles per gallon there on the highway, both of them taking regular unleaded fuel. So therefore, Civic is going to win this comparison, putting us at a score of two to one. Civic is in the lead. And then make your way to number seven being the braking comparison. And so this is important if you have to come to a quick stop, you wanna know which one is going to come to that quicker stop between these two. As far as the brake sizes go, the 2022 Civic is going to give you 11.2 inch ventilated front disc, 10.2 inch solid rear disc, producing a 60 to zero stopping distance according to Motor Trend of 122 feet. And so on the other side of things, the 2022 Corolla comes in at 10.8 inches ventilated in the front, 10.2 inches solid rear disc then in the back with a 60 to zero stopping distance of 119 feet. It's a little bit lighter of a vehicle, which means the Corolla does win the brake in comparison just by a little bit there, putting us at a tie once again, two to two. Let's make our way to number six on the list. So next comparison on my list is going to be the rear legroom. If you have rear passengers, obviously this one is going to be pretty important to you. 2022 Civic comes in at 37.4 inches, which is actually kind of impressive for a compact car. For example, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had when I reviewed this Civic. Decent amount of space for what this vehicle is. 2022 Corolla is going to come in then at 34.8 inches. So substantially less. Again, for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back of the Corolla. So overall, when it comes to rear legroom, Civic is going to take the win here, putting us at a score of three to two. Civic is in the lead. 
Next on my comparison list, number five being cargo space. 2022 Civic comes in at 14.4 cubic feet. This is what that looks like there. 2022 Corolla comes in at 13.1 cubic feet, so slightly less. Both do offer a 60-40 split, meaning you can fold those rear seats down in both different vehicles. But overall, Civic is a bigger vehicle, so it is gonna give you more cargo space as well, putting us at a score of four to two. Civic is in the lead. Next on my list is going to be a comparison between the tech on these two. 2022 Civic now offers a full digital gauge cluster, which is amazing. I love that. I didn't get a chance to experience it, but I'm just going to throw a picture on the screen here of that new digital gauge cluster. On the other hand, 2022 Corolla gives you a partial digital gauge cluster, which looks good, but doesn't look nearly as good as that full digital gauge cluster. But there's more to the tech than the gauges, of course. Making our way then to the infotainment screen, the 2022 Civic gives you a 9-inch color touchscreen display, whereas the Corolla gives you an 8-inch color touchscreen display. So slightly larger screen with the Civic. And where it really takes the win for me here is wireless. Android Auto Apple CarPlay is available with the Civic, whereas it is not available with the Corolla. So that is what really puts it over the top for me. Civic is going to take this one, not only because it has a bigger screen, the digital gauges, but the wireless connectivity is definitely a big win here, putting us at a score of 5-2. to two. Civic is in the lead. Then making our way to number three on the list is going to be the driving dynamics. And so this is going to be the slightly subjective comparison because this is my own personal opinion here. However, do take into account I've driven over 600 vehicles now. So I have a little bit of experience when it comes to driving dynamics. So I'm going to include in this the ride quality, the handling, and actually the cabin noise as well. So when it comes to the 2022 Civic, it does offer good ride quality more than I expected excellent steering feel and handling. That's really what impressed me the most on the Civic. It does have a heavier weight to the steering, instantly points you in the direction that you wanna go. Cabin noise though, kinda bad, I gotta be honest. But that is to be expected, the Civic has always had a decent amount of cabin noise and it's still there for the 2022 model year. But then when it comes to the 2022 Corolla, good ride quality, once again, I would put it at the same level as the Civic there. Just okay steering feel though. It does have a looser steering feel, substantially looser than the new Civic. So it doesn't give you that better feeling of being in control of the vehicle in the end. And again, cabin noise, not the best. Both really don't give you the best cabin noise, I gotta be honest. So overall, just because of the heavier weighted steering, because of the better handling found in the Civic, once again, I gotta give this one to the Civic. Six to two, Civic is in the lead. Next comparison, number two on my list is going to be reliability. And I know this is a big one when you are comparing these two. And so when it comes to the 2022 Civic, as far as consumer reports goes in the past, if I'm looking at the base engine of this Civic and they can calculate these scores based on which parts have been carried over to the new model year and what is traditionally done in the past, Average reliability is what that base engine is going to give. And of course, the upgraded engine is going to be turbocharged. You can imagine it's going to be at least average or possibly worse because typically history tells us that turbocharged engines, at least at the time of this video, are not as reliable as their naturally aspirated or even direct injected counterparts. So I will say that when it comes to the 2022 Corolla, well above average reliability according to Consumer Reports. So that is the very highest reliability rating that Consumer Reports gives out. And of course, they are not paid by any outside sources. They buy all of their own vehicles, which is why I always use them because they are unbiased in my personal opinion. So obviously this one is going to go to the Corolla. It is a more reliable vehicle, but Civic is still in the lead. But now our score is six to three. And so last comparison I wanted to give you guys here is going to be the styling. Slightly subjective, but on the other hand, not really. Here is why. 2022 Civic has an excellent redesign. What makes it an excellent redesign is because it is lower and wider. And traditionally, when you make vehicles lower and wider, it always results in a much better looking vehicle. Of course, the design goes along with that. It is lower than the Corolla. For example, Civic comes in at 55.7 inches when it comes to the height of that one, 56.5 inches for the Corolla. So it is a little bit lower of a height when it comes to the Civic, making it better looking. And then when it comes to the width, 70.9 inches when it comes to the width, 70.1 then for the Corolla. So it's just slightly wider, but it does have a wider wheelbase there than the Corolla once again. So therefore, in my personal subjective opinion, you might have a different opinion than me, and that's perfectly fine. The Civic is the better looking vehicle because it is lower and wider, making a more aggressive appearance in my personal opinion. So this one is going to go to the Civic as well. But 
in the end, both are very solid picks, and that is why they have always been compared to each other. I would actually throw in, although this is the classic comparison, I would also throw in the new Nissan Sentra and the Hyundai Elantra as well. With the Sentra, you have an excellent weighted steering feel. That is one thing I specifically remember. Excellent handling with that one. With the Hyundai Elantra, you get crazy amounts of tech and America's best warranty as well, and very nice interior quality with that one too. But overall, let me know what you guys think of the new Civic, of the Corolla. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and which one you would particularly pick. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe to the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.